Five ways to find a planet. If there is life in the universe, it most likely exists on another planet. So discovering life out there starts with finding one. But how do you find a new planet? Well, there are five ways. Number one, look at it. The simplest method is to take a photo of the planet with a good telescope. Sadly, it is also the least successful one. Why? Well, planets are found near stars and stars emit a lot of light. So normally finding a planet in this way is like trying to see an airplane or a bird flying across the sun on a summer day. The sun blinds you so much that the bird is simply invisible. But if you cover the sun with your hand, suddenly you can see much more and the bird becomes visible. The same can be done when finding a new planet. Astronomers can block the blinding light from the star with clever devices such as coronagraphs or star shades and see the planet orbiting nearby. This is called direct imaging. Number two, look at what you don't see. If you are lucky enough to be in the same plane as the new planet's orbit, meaning that um, the planet passes directly in front of its star when it's orbiting it, you can look for a shadow of the planet when it passes in front of the star. Astronomers measure the amount of light that reaches their telescopes and if they detect a drop, like here, and this drop is repetitive, they may have discovered a new planet. Hooray! Number 3. Look at the star. You may have heard that it is not Earth that orbits the Sun, but rather both of them orbit a common center of mass. In simpler terms, Sun is moving too, in tiny, tiny circles, around a point somewhere within its volume. The same is true for every planet orbiting a star. Which means that if you see a star moving in tiny circles, there is a planet nearby. This method works only if you are not in line with the planet's orbit, and it is called astrometry. Number 4. The hardest one. Say that you are in plane with the new planet's orbit, but cannot see any shadow of the planet as it passes in front of the star. Maybe it is just too far away or the light is too weak. Is it all lost? Well, no, because the star is moving in circles, or remember method number three, it will be constantly moving towards you or away from you. And thanks to a clever man called Doppler, we know that light from such star will be changing color as it moves. It will become bluer as the star is moving towards you and redder as it moves away from you. So if astronomers find a periodic change in the color of a distant star, it means it is moving around and, by extension, that there is a planet there, causing it to move. Clever. Number 5. Ask Mr. Einstein. One of the greatest discoveries of Albert Einstein was that gravity can change the way light travels. Sometimes it can even bend and focus light like a lens in a magnifying glass. This is because space-time is distorted close to large masses such as stars or planets. And as space changes its shape, light, which has to travel through that space, can no longer travel in straight lines. So, when a planet is positioned between us and a star, it can focus light from that star, making it appear temporarily brighter. 53 planets have been discovered so far with this method. It is called gravitational microlensing. So, here they are. Five ways to find a new planet outside our solar system. Nowadays, astronomers are discovering hundreds of new planets every year. Who knows, maybe life exists on one of them.